Welcome. This is what is happening on the Sunday day, the 27th of May 2011. 74 years ago to this day, one of the most beautiful bridges in the world, the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, was first opened to pedestrian traffic. Well, we've had a lot of activity in the last 24 hours, at least as far as sunspots are concerned, so let's take a look at the sun and see what's been going on. Region 1216 is approaching the west limb and is still just a single spot. Region 1223 in the southern hemisphere near Disc Center has continued its growth. You may remember I was saying yesterday that 1222 looked as though it was disappearing. Well, it has. It's gone. A new but very rapidly growing region has popped up in the northern hemisphere, just to the west of Sun Center, and that has not been numbered yet. There's a new single spot coming over the east limb. That too has not been numbered. And if you look very, very carefully in the southeast, you can just see a new spot coming over the east limb. I can't tell very much about what that region looks like unless we go and take a look at the stereo data and see how it looks in temperatures above a million degrees. Here are two repeats of the stereo B movie with the region of interest marked with some vertical bars. You can see although the region is relatively small, it is changing quite rapidly. So this region may be a good candidate to help contribute to a future increase in solar activity. Now let's take a look at the evolution of these regions using the SDO HMI data. First, the Sunspot movie shows the rapid development of that region in the Northern Hemisphere. But the really interesting part is when you look at the um, magnetic movie, look how quickly the magnetic field comes up and how quickly it starts to separate. This sort of explosive growth can cause large flares. But has it produced any flares as yet? Well, let's take a look at the GOES X-ray plot and see. Apart from the two C flares yesterday, the answer is no, it hasn't. However, the X-ray background has now increased to the B2 level which is a factor of three increase over yesterday's very quiet conditions. And this is due to the growth of those two regions plus the new regions coming over the east limb. Using the 48 hour movies from the SDO AIA instrument, we can see in the coronal movie the appearance of these new regions over the east limb and also the development of those two rapidly growing active regions near disc center. There are no particularly spectacular eruptions visible in the helium-2304 images this time, just the usual dynamic filaments and prominences. From the Soho coronagraph data, we do however see a faint coronal mass ejection in the northeast quadrant. And as far as I can see, there are no new comets streaking towards the sun at the moment. The ACE data shows us that the solar wind has undergone some spectacular changes. Its density suddenly increased by a factor of 10. Its uh, velocity has increased by over 100 kilometers per second. And its temperature has risen at the same time. Either we're beginning to be influenced by a coronal hole, or we were brushed by one of these coronal mass ejections that we've seen over the last few days. Even so, the auroral zone has remained relatively quiet and the KP index remains between 0 and 2. So from a geospace point of view, things are not very active. So in summary then, the sunspot number has risen to 40 and I think it will probably go a little higher. The X-ray background is up to B2 level. The radio sun flux is at 83 solar flux units. The solar wind speed has increased to 440 kilometers per second with a density of about 3.4 protons per cubic centimeter, but the KP index has remained quiet. So my forecast for the next 24 hours is upgraded somewhat, but I think a likely chance of C flares. I've increased the chance of getting an M flare to low because such rapid growth always has the potential of producing an M flare, but I still think the chances of an X flare are quite remote. The sunspot number will drift higher. CMEs remain likely, but the chances of getting a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is quite low. In the longer term, there are some fairly large and bright regions due to come over the east limb, so I expect activity to continue to increase. If you want more details about what's going on in the sun, follow some of the links in the description box below. If you want to see earlier editions of the sun today or some of my global warming videos, go to my channel, they're all listed there. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.